After extensive deliberations, the Price Committee unanimously agreed on the winner for the, for the 2011 Mo Ibrahim Laureate. It's therefore my honor and privilege to announce the winner, President Pedro Verona Perez, the former president of Kevad. During Perez's 10 years as president from 2001 to 2011, Cape Verde became the second African nation to move out of the United Nations least developed category while they promoted food security, education and a burgeoning tourism industry. The 2011 Ibrahim Index of African Governance was also announced at the event which marked the fifth anniversary of the foundation. The Ibrahim Prize is the largest individual award in the world worth 5 million US dollars over 10 years and 200,000 US dollars a year for life. The prize, conferred by an independent prize committee made up of global figures, is awarded to a former executive head of state or government for demonstrating excellence and exceptional leadership. The foundation also considers granting a further 200,000 US dollars per year for 10 years towards the public interest activities and good causes espoused by the laureate. Perez's citation was read by prize committee chair Salim Ahmed Salim, former secretary general of the Organization for African Unity and former Prime Minister of Tanzania. Aisha Badialo, former Minister of Education in Guinea and Director of Basic Education at UNESCO, said Perez focused on the needs of his people and especially food security while at the same time eliminating corruption. Mary Robinson, former President of Ireland and former UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, said Perez's achievements were extraordinary. Mohamed El Baradei, former Director General of the International Atomic Energy Agency and Nobel Laureate, said Perez had handled himself with integrity throughout his political life, from anti-colonial activists through the transition to multi-party democracy and then leaving office democratically and voluntarily. Cape Verde placed second in the Foundation's fifth Index of African Governance, also released on Monday. Established in 2007, the Ibrahim Index is the most comprehensive collection of qualitative and quantitative data that provides an annual assessment of governance performance in every African country. The index looks at four broad areas of development, sustainable economic opportunity, human development, safety and rule of law, and participation and human rights. The top five countries were Mauritius, Cape Verde, Botswana, Seychelles and South Africa, while at the bottom of the 53 national rankings were Central African Republic, DR Congo, Zimbabwe, Chad and at last Somalia. Other highlights of the report showed great gains by Liberia and Sierra Leone, which achieved improvement across all four categories, as well as better performances from Togo and Angola. While Foundation Chairman Mo Ibrahim said that Africa was getting more prosperous outside of simple mineral wealth and had not been adversely affected by the global financial crisis, he noted that in too many places there is an imbalance between economic growth and human rights which can lead to the kinds of uprisings that have happened in the past year in North Africa. While he hoped for peaceful transitions, Ibrahim noted that governments have to work with the ever-increasing African civil society or risk violence. El Baradai, a potential presidential candidate in Egypt, said that without participation, governments risk losing power no matter what the economy is doing. Former Botswana president Saa Ketumile Masire said that in many ways, the index was more important than a prize because it arms people with information they can then use to challenge their governments.